uh, 110 minutes, so an hour and 50 minutes in the DMV, renewing my driver's license, which I couldn't do online because of that real, real ID thing or whatever. Since I've been overseas for the last 10 years, I haven't had a chance to get a real ID. So anyway, that's done. Head back down, go to the White House, the President's Landing in about two hours. Maybe we'll get a good, good glimpse of him tonight. But first, let's get something to eat. Hey guys, uh, Air Force One is about 30 minutes ahead of schedule. It's on final approach to Andrews. I don't know if I can get to the White House in time. I'm on an electric bike and it is all downhill, but it's also rush hour traffic. So let's go for it. We're at the Vice President's house now and we only have about two miles to go in 20 minutes, maybe. <laughs> we'll see what we can do out of gas. Yikes. Run out of gas and cause a traffic mess. Run out of gas, traffic mess at the vice president's house. Ah, you know that's about the third or fourth car I've seen run out of gas this week. Ooh, doggy. Okay, we got a clear stretch here past the South African Embassy. We can fly. We dropped something. Ah, oh, we dropped a bunch of stuff. <laughs> uh, haste makes waste, haste make waste, and that's what I just did. I just lost my uh, telephoto lens and I lost my camera case. Ugh. I was going fast though. Oh well, it's all plastic. Hopefully it should be okay. I kind of knew that was going to fall out of my pocket. This is just reaffirming even more that I need a backpack. That's my uh, mission this week. I've just got so much gear and now that I'm not wearing a jacket I've gone from like six pockets down to like two pockets and I just can't carry everything. The race is on. We're at N as in Nancy. We need to get to H. So 24th. 24 and N. We need to get to 16th and a, 17th and H. Seven blocks one way and then the, the A, B, C, D, H, I, H, six or seven blocks the other way. But Pennsylvania Avenue is up here and it's a diagonal. So shortest distance from two points, straight line. You know what, I'm gonna time this light just perfect. Woo! Look at me! I'm a car! <laughs> I see Park Police Eagle, which means the airspace is not clear yet for Marine One. Eagle is still scouting. Probably, probably going nuts. Like, uh, we got a crazy man on a bicycle with a camera in his hand racing towards the White House. Activate the 20th Street. Big truck, big, big truck. Big truck make bike go boom. Okay. Am I late? I could be. No, no, no. Vehicles are there. Okay, let's see what we can do here. If I didn't break my camera. There's a couple out there today. I can see the tail rotor. Okay, if you look behind the ambulance, Yes. You can see the green thing, yeah. but 
but the ambulance is blocking our view of where Biden's gonna get out. <laughs> there goes his truck. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to see him today. There you can see the Marine opening the back door. See the, oh, yeah. and he'll come to the front door and salute. But that SUV is gonna block our view. Boy, they really don't want any of us to see. Marines at the front door. I think that's him, I think. Boy, they didn't, they really blocked our view today. Ambulance and Suburban. Hey, look, we're back here again, and we're having a really crappy day. <laughs> we uh, dropped our telephoto lens, it shattered. We uh, dropped our brand new, like three day old um, DJI lens, but I had it in a protective case. Learned my lesson after last week, and it's operational. So, knock on wood, that one's okay. And then on top of that, the Secret Service uh, is on to my new secret spot to film uh, the president getting off Marine One and they parked a Suburban and an ambulance specifically to block my view. <laughs> I was like, maybe they're watching my videos. I don't know. They assessed, let's block the view of that dude. So, no joy. Uh, we keep trying though. We keep trying. The spot we found this morning should be pretty good, but now I gotta get another telephoto lens because I just shattered this one. Anyway guys, let's go ride home. It's a beautiful night, and I spent three hours in the DMV, so I deserve a break, yeah? I deserve a soda, too. All right, we got a request from some of you that there's something at the IRS building, which is over there, and you guys want me to drive over to the IRS in Federal Triangle, which is just right over there by the Trump Tower. So I tell you what, we'll take you over there. Now yeah, let's go over to the IRS. I don't even know what I'm looking for. You guys have just said, there's a sign at the IRS, or there's sandbags. Well, there's always sandbags around in some of these places. But let's go see what we can find. Let's go see what we can find. I'm gonna go up in the mall. Okay, oh, actually, you know what? The IRS is kind of this way. Good shot. Okay, we're on the National Mall. IRS is left or right? I'm not even sure. Excuse me. Because to be honest, almost all these buildings look alike down here. All these federal triangle buildings. So that. Oh, let's go find out which one. Oh, it's one of these next three or four buildings. Now, Commerce is down there. This might, this is like EPA. This is now EPA, I think. Environmental Protection Agency. Let's see what the sign says. William Jefferson Clinton Federal Building. I didn't know he got a building named after him. Okay, that is the EPA. And over there, U.S. Department of Treasury, Internal Revenue Service. Oh, so here's some sandbags. 
at the IRS around this uh, service grate. It looks like a metro service grate. And there's some more back around that door. We are down here in Federal Triangle, which is a well-known area for flooding. And they've got more sandbags up here protecting the side of this area. Let me see if I can show you what's behind the sandbags. IRS. Oops, 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 oops. Oh, I can't get back in there. There's a tree. So this is the visitor's entrance. The building is closed. Yay! Don't collect my taxes. That's fine by me. I sent you guys a huge check yesterday. So yeah, there's a sign saying visiting, visiting is closed. Uh, more sandbags down here. There's like a, a well. There's Oh, I know what that's like a light well. So there's windows down there, I think, in the basement. Let's go around the whole building, yeah? Because you guys want to see. And I will try to show you what I can show you. So, nothing on this side except rat traps. Oh, here we go. What's, what's, what's in this thing? Oh, it's just a grate. Oh, so like there, I see it's a sunlight. Down there is a, there's a whole basement level and they have windows. So there's like windows, but there's a grate over the top. And I guess they don't want the grate to fill in with water or something. Security guards. Oh no, bus drivers. There you go, more sandbags. So they pretty much have sandbagged all of these light wells for the basements, except they didn't sandbag this metro exit, which is odd. Oh, well, this is, a, this is another one of those things. So this is what's behind the sandbags, guys. These big, these grates, and then the sunlight goes through them, and then there's windows to the basement level of the building. Wait, the grass here is really nice. The grass is better than better than some of the Lafayette Park by the White House. It's like, I guess these guys have been keeping some of the money they're collecting. Let's see if there's anything on this side of the building, yeah? Uh, a lot of plants. No, no, just, just grates on this side of the building. No sandbags. Oh, there's some, oh, this is the Trump Hotel. So the only sign I saw at the door was the visitor center entrance. I can't go that way. Some big schmo is over there with his cars. This is a display on the building of Federal Triangle. Federal Triangle is this triangular Pennsylvania Avenue constitution uh, down to like 14th all the way back to like 7th. It makes like a triangle and it's, I think it's entirely federal office buildings with the exception of the Trump Hotel. I think the Trump Hotel is probably the only private, I mean, it's still a federal building, it's just leased by the Trump Corporation. Oof. And we just ran into a pole, but we're still alive. We go over to Federal Triangle Metro. That's where we've seen sandbags in the past. So this is the Federal Triangle, you, William Jefferson Clinton building. Boy, I'm gonna have a hard time saying that. <laughs> and I've shown you here, they have sandbags here. Oh, dang, I just missed that. So this is Federal Triangle, and these sandbags that you see out here on the grass are protecting metro subway grates. Yeah, see these subway grates? And Federal Triangle floods all the time in rain. But it's kind of odd that they don't have it on like everybody. Like, like, what's this? This is IRS. Let's see if they, they don't have it on this. They have it on most of the sides of the IRS, except the upside. The uh, Pennsylvania Avenue side doesn't have it. So they've got some here too. That's the visitor's entrance. I, I assume that's the sign that says closed again. Uh, so yeah, they've got sandbags around all the windows, but over here, like the EPA, well, they don't. They have elevated. The grates over here are elevated, so they don't have sandbags. Hmm. All right. 
green light. <sighs> so these sandbags are protecting more steam grates, more access panels. Honestly, these sandbags look like they've been here a while. They look pretty beat up. Some are losing sand. I don't know how long these have been here. Hmm. Okay, let me go take you back here. Let's go read that sign real close. Since I probably didn't zoom in enough for you guys to read the sign. And I'm sure you guys probably want to see it. Stand down on my hog. Visitor's entrance open six to six, not today. This entrance is closed. Please go to the 12th Street Pavilion to get into the building across from the Trump Hotel. Call security if you have a problem. So this entrance is closed. I don't really know what other signs. I didn't see any other signs. I saw that one, but probably the same thing. Go, go to the other entrance. And we'll go over that way. There's the sandbags. So there's like a basement in this building, yeah? And some of the basements have windows. And the windows, to get natural sunlight, have these little, like, little light wells there. And on top of the light well is a grate. And now they have sandbags on the outside, I'm assuming to stop water from going into the grates. So this must be the entrance. The same thing. This entrance is closed. Go to the Trump Hotel. Do, do, do. Hmm. All right. Well, it's a mystery. But uh, like I've, so I've shown you before, we do see sandbags in Federal Triangle a lot. This, those over there, for example, uh, due to the flooding that is a problem here in Federal Triangle. And uh, I guess that may be what's going on at IRS, too. The doors are open, for example. It's not like the sandbags are protecting the doors or anything. The sandbags are just protecting those grates, those light wells. Is that what they call them, like a light well? I'm not really an architectural historian or anything. All right, mm. let's go this way. All righty, now we can go home, yeah? So the park is open. Let's see who's out and about today, if anyone. God, it's a beautiful day. We have to, well, we have to block off whoever that was. Oh, wow. Huh. Is this now an exit? No, can't be. It looks like it is. It looks like they reopened 15th Street. So I guess this part is open. Well, that's cool. So 15th Street has been reattached to Lafayette Park. 